This is the Bunker Podcast. If it exists, it's here. Downloading new files. The Bunker Podcast starts now. And welcome to the Bunker Podcast. Better late than never. Supposed to start streaming at half past ten GMT. But. I forgot to be honest, so um, here, but here we are. We are here with a bunker podcast, finally discussing the Last Kingdom. Um, originally, I was going to do some um, individual episodes. I've already done episode one and two. I'm going to do three and four next time. But. I plan on doing a very, very brief overview of the entire series now, as I've I've seen the entire series now. Um, so, starting on my thoughts of the series, it was it was good, it was good. Um, I'm not sure if it was as good as the series three. Um, it seemed to underwhelm me a little bit. Um, I'm not sure what it was. I'm trying to pinpoint the bit that underwhelmed me. Um, but anyway, let's um, let's go through a very very brief episode by episode. So episode one. Uh, we remember um, Bevenberg is getting attacked uh, by the Scots and Uhtred hears about it and um, he's actually got his guys there having a look seeing what's going on and they go and report back to Uhtred and um, they uh, decide that it's the right time in which to go and attack Edinburgh, which I believe we see in episode two. Um, yeah, so um, so they hatch a plan. They they take back uh, Uhtred. He gets his son, uh, who is a a young monk, baby monk, uh, to try and infiltrate Edinburgh. With a couple of monks sent by uh, Ethel, Ethel, uh, what's his name? The King of Mercia. I always forget his name. Husband of Ethel Fled. I don't know. I can't remember his name. Pretty boy king. Anyway, he decides that he wants um, some, uh, well, a relic an artifact back from Mer Mercia so he sends a couple of monks um, Uhtred decides he's going to commandeer his couple of monks and send in his son young Uhtred with them so they can basically get access to the fortress of Bevenberg um, and retake it uh, now what Uhtred doesn't anticipate in all of this action is that um, Alfrich who is uh, the uncle of Uhtred. His son comes back to Bevenberg after uh, many years, I believe. I think he was sent away before. I think we thought he was dead. I, I know this would probably come up in a previous series, but I can't actually remember, remember what it, when it was, where it was. But anyway, his son's back. He's brought more men with him. And... Um, He's uh, obviously Uhtred doesn't know about this, but he decides Uhtred decides to go anyway. You got Father Bioka going with Uhtred as well, um, and obviously they're they're walking into something that isn't quite what they originally imagined. Um, they thought they were going to a you know a relatively unguarded fortress of Bevenberg, but actually there was more guards there than they originally anticipated so 
So anyway, they rock up, and um, the uh, young young Uhtred is um, is there, and um, basically what happens is they get in. Um, Father Bjorka, um, a, he kind of rescues young Uhtred, Uhtred's son. Uh, Bjorka dies. And um, Uhtred is forced to retreat, which he does, and goes back south. So I think that takes us beyond episode three. Um, that's right. So um, Uhtred, um, he he's on his way back south. He actually runs into Heston, um, who's looking after Canute's sons. So Utrius decides that he's going to kidnap um, Canute's sons um, as a bargaining ploy later down the line, uh, which he, he, he um, eventually he uses to save their lives um, because you've got Ethelfled. Hugh goes and saves, and um, basically they they basically ready for war. Um, Canute sends a lieutenant to uh, kill, uh, well, to capture Elfled, potentially kill Uhtred, and um, the way that Uhtred saves saves them was by killing one of Canute's sons. He actually doesn't actually kill his son. He actually um, throws a lifeless body of one of the villagers over the wall so that um, Canute's lieutenant thinks it's Canute's son. So he reports back to Canute. Uhtred kills his son. Canute is fine for blood. Canute doesn't care at this stage. He just wants to go after him. Uhtred kill everyone, every Saxon, everyone he can. Uh, everyone he ca- he wants to basically. Ethelfled is preparing for war. Um, and at this stage as well, I believe Ethelfled is trying to get the help of um, Edward um, to, to to fight the Danes. Basically, um, he actually sends Father Puleg or Ethelfled and uh they they basically send a uh Pulig to Wales to try and um get the Welsh king to help them face Canute's army obviously Canute's got a very big army at this stage so they arrange a a big battle or a, a, a meeting at uh, uh Tettenhall um so you basically got Ethelfled, you've got um, Uhtred's guys, and the Welsh. They're all basically meeting there to to take on Canute's army, which they do eventually. Canute uh, turns up, so you've got the Welsh, you've got um, Uhtred's men. Ethelfled turns up as well with um the mercy and field and eventually somewhere into the battle edward turns up as well so he turns up they have a big old ruck big old battle there's a nice little bit where they're standing their ground this is utrid and the welsh they're standing their ground and they've basically made a trap for canute and his army there's a ditch, um, a quite a wide ditch that they origi- they jumped over with their horses earlier in in an earlier scene. So they've basically I don't know how they've done this so quickly, but you have to imagine that the time passes quite slowly in the Last Kingdom. So they've had time to lay a trap. They've laid like branches and logs and trees across this gap. And um, to camouflage the, the the ground, basically, 
So when Canute and his army turns up, they charge. Now at this point, Breeder, she kind of has an inkling something is a bit wrong here. So she's kind of a bit tentative. She's trying to hold people back. But um, Canute, you know, he's he's raging. He wants to get hold of Ultrad. You can see him. He's right over there. He's just there. So Canute charges. Breeder holds some people back. Some of the forces. And um, charges straight for uh, Canute and the Welsh. Which isn't a good idea. But anyway, so they go down. Down the ditch. All hell breaks loose. Edward turns up. End of the day. Long story short. The Saxons beat the Danes. Canute dies. Breeder actually ends up killing Canute. Because um, Breeder finds out that Canute actually had uh, organised for Ragnar to be killed with um, Ethelwald back in the previous series. So Breda kills Canute in the end. Um, Breda gets captured by the Welsh and she gets taken off as a slave. There was a little last confrontation between um, Uhtred and Breda. And Breda asked Uhtred to kill her and he didn't. So um, she got taken by as a captive, as a slave, um, taken back to Wales. And um, well, that was the end end of that. So that takes us into episode um, episode five, I believe. Yeah, okay, so. Looking into episode five, um, Ethelred is well, Ethelred, that, that was the name I tried to remember earlier. So he's the King of Mercia, he is injured in this battle or in the previous episode. So he's brought back to Mercia as a dying man. To Ellsbury. Uh, he's got some kind of. Injury to the back of his head. Where he's basically cracked his skull open. He's he's, he's on his way out. Ethelred is dying. So. All the. Eldermen of Mercia. They're all trying to work out. What's going to happen. If Ethelred dies and who the successor will be. Um, in the meantime, Edward hatches a plan um, to um, use his niece, Ethelfled's um, daughter, Elfwyn, as a bargaining chip. So he wants to marry his niece off to the new... Um, the new kind of the the leader of Mercia and it's some kind of um, they don't know who it's going to be they don't know they're trying to work it out there's a little bit of um, politics going on on here um, originally it was going to be an elderman but then we find out that uh, they're actually going to be old wolf old wolf was going to be the the man for for the job uh, and it was agreed that edward was going to marry off elfwin to old wolf and he was going to be the new lord of mercia um but it turns out that old wolf takes a a party um to go and Track down Uhtred's men. He's fled with um, Elfwin and his sons. They've fled north to try and. Um, they're not happy with this at all. So they're trying to. They're trying to run away, basically trying to get to Chester. Um, but um, Erdwolf he tries to pursue um, Uhtred 
with his uh, obviously Uhtred's sons are there as well well his one son and his daughter and Edward's bastard I think as well um, so Erdwolf they try and track down Uhtred um, there's also a, a, a bit about the there's like a disease going around as well so they're always talking about some kind of dirty air that they're trying to get out of. I don't know what, what this um, disease is, but anyway, the um, there's a lot of tension here between um, Edward and the Mercians because the Mercians are trying, they're trying to do their own thing and Edward, he's trying to, he's trying to keep some kind of control without taking control you know he's trying to how do I put it because the Mercians want to be their own people and Edward wants to keep the alliance forged so Edward's trying to trying to keep a hand in there but he's trying to let the Mercians kind of sort themselves out which then struggling to do so Edward's there and um it's not going too well to be honest it's not going too well so I uh, I mean at this stage we're up to what episode 6 um, um, which we find out that Elfwyn um, Elfwyn's daughter uh, is sick um, and um, what what they want to do is um, Edward hold on Yeah, so right, just trying to remember this now. It gets a bit so. Elfwin um is is sick, so she gets taken by. Oh, someone. Anyway, let's talk about Wows. So in Wows, you have got Citriga, who comes along in Wows, takes over um, the. He think he's Canute's. He's Canute's family, anyway. Um, But eventually they decide that Uhtred should be the new Lord of Mercia because they're trying to appease both sides uh, and Uhtred is a trusted, loyal um, to Wessex and Mercia, Lady Ethelfled. So they eventually decide that Uhtred should be the Lord of Mercia, which he, he accepts, um, and then he relinquishes it straight away and decides that Ethelfled should be the um, Lady of Mercia instead because she's a lot more loyal to Mercia and um, he rightly believes that she should lead Mercia into the future. Um, and of course at this stage as well the Danes are attacking Wales um, in in case in this case they also find Breeder who's also is held captive uh, at that time as well in Wales so um, Siegfried feel, uh, frees Breeder Breeder joins Siegfried 
and they set up on a mission to take over Winchester. So Breeder and Sigtrigger lead Danes to Winchester. Of course, by this point as well, they find Erdwolf, who got turned in um, by Mercia, basically um, was exposed as a traitor. Erdwolf, he heads towards Wales where he knows the Danes are, so he offers up his, his partnership and leads the Danes to Winchester. Now, Heston, at this stage, he's floating on the breeze. He Somehow he comes across um, Uhtred and his party and takes the, well, he takes the women. He takes um, Uhtred's daughter uh, and a couple of others. Um, kidnaps him, leaves Uhtred and his party to die hanging from trees um, and of course at, at this stage as well Edward learns that Winchester has been taken by the Danes um, it doesn't take long for the Danes to take Winchester it's not very well guarded um, Ethel Fled is um, coming to aid Edward to take back Winchester. And um, it's because it, Winchester is so well guarded at this stage, it's very, very difficult for anyone to take back Winchester. So Uhtred um, decides that he's going to try and end this. Um, also learning that uh, um, Sid Trigger has Edward's sons, his uh, rightful heir and his bastard as well. Um, so Uhtred offers up a bargain to swap himself for um, Edward's sons. So he gets into Winchester, Edward's sons get released. Breeder wants to kill Uhtred. Sifrigar strikes a bargain with Uhtred that um, basically they would give back Winchester in return for some other lands. Ethelwich, I think it was, and East Angular that uh, the Danes want to occupy. So eventually a bargain is struck. Um, Breeder is not happy, tries, she tries to kill Uhtred, she disappears, Uhtred um, uh, talks to Edward, Sidrigar talks to Edward, strike the bargain, they give up Winchester. Um, but there is a price to pay, Uhtred's daughter, Stora, um, is going to go with Seed Trigger to their new land as, as a bit of a price. She's happy to go anyway, so he doesn't, you know, after a little bit of resistance, he realizes that that's what she wants to do, and um, she goes with him happily. Um, so Uhtred. Uhtred's son, young Uhtred, decides to go back to his church. So, and Uhtred is again a free man, deciding what he wants to do. At the end of series four, it's wide open. We are finally, we're at peace in the land, the Danes and the Saxons. Have struck a bargain and we're at peace. Ethelfled is Lady of Mercia. Edward is still King of Wessex. The alliance is strong. They have peace with the Danes. But how long for? Uhtred. I think. So that's that's the series. That's the season. Basically, 
is a very very brief i skipped over a lot of things in that series i just wanted to skip on past as quickly as possible um of course um edward and Ethelflaed's mum i think did she die what was her name alfred 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 I, I can't remember her name, but she died because it's the names that get me in this. The names, the Edward's advisor, his his um, his Edward's wife's father, his father-in-law has been advising him. He uh, poisons his mother in this as well, so she's on death's door. Can't remember if she actually dies in this. So there's that. There's a continuing plot line there as well. Um, Edward kind of had a good kind of redemption arc in this in this whole season. He he started out kind of rough and tough, and um, he was a little bit lost, and then he kind of redeemed himself towards the end when he started listening to his mother a little bit more started listening to a bit of Uhtred and he started to make the right decisions in the end which is good Uhtred is has been Uhtred throughout the season he just wants he just wants peace basically he he wants to look after his kids he wants to make sure his kids are okay and his men are okay um and that's that's basically it you know he doesn't want any more than that he does what he has to do he wants he, he's already achieved what he wants with bringing Ethelfled um, to the lead the lady of Mercia so what's Uhtred going to do now he's going to go back to Cookham I suppose if you think how long is it going to be between this season and the next season maybe we'll fast forward a year um which makes sense if they start filming this next series kind of early next year then um it would be a year between filming so that would make sense i suppose and i i would imagine that um Uhtred would want to start looking back towards bedenburg and um now that he has the support of Edward, kind of, I'm sure he can convince him to um, get some men. I mean, he can get men from Ethelflaed. Whatever, Uhtred has done well in this series. He's He hasn't, he hasn't ruffled too many feathers. Well, he did. Actually, no, I take that back. He did ruffle a lot of feathers. But at the end of the day, it worked out for him. So at the end of the day, he's on good standing with Wessex and Mercia. So he could take back Bevenberg in the next series, which I'm hoping that he will. Yeah, it doesn't have to deal with his uncle anymore. He's got to deal with his cousin who I can't remember the name of, but he's got to deal with his cousin in the next episode. So we'll wait and see in the next series what he's going to do. Um, who who else died? Um, Stiopa died in in the battle of um, uh, Tettenhall. 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 Stiopa died. Stiopa. Stiopa. Who else died? Um, Edward's mum. I think think died or she was dying who else died um Bioka, obviously he died there's a few other deaths as well let's have a look let's have a look let's have a look um Ethelstead, Ethelred, Ethelred, Ethelred. Yeah, he died, obviously. Um, uh, 
What is this? Yeah, Ethelred died. Obviously, he had the um, the injury to his head. Who else? There was, there was another. Canute died. He got killed by a breeder. Um. But I suppose the the biggest death was Bioka, I suppose, because Bioka's been there from the beginning. Um Yeah, I think that's that's the deaths. You got Steelpa, Canute, um Bioka and Ethelred. That's the four kind of major deaths. In this series, uh, if you know any more, let me know. If I've missed any, let me know. I don't know. I'm waiting. No, okay. So I think um, the streams are going half an hour now. I've kind of roughly gone over things so I discussed what may be happening in the next series as well I believe that he's finally going to go and get back Bevenberg um, we're going to get new characters I mean every series is going to get new characters more names to remember not that I can remember them Um, so it was a good season. I thought there was felt like there was something missing. I don't know what it is. It was good. It, I can't, I can't quite think what it is that it was missing. It was missing something, something. I liked the the battles were good. I think what was missing, because after episode four, we had after the bit about Canute died, we're running out of the badass Viking. You know, we got um, the new guy Siegfrieder, if that's how you pronounce it. But it's basically him and Breeder are the other Vikings. We haven't got any, you know, like, you know, I mean, we've got Heston still alive. He's still out there somewhere. So he's going to, he might have a bigger role to play in, um, in the next series. He's still alive. We'll see. We'll see what he does. Can never rule out Heston. I don't know. Heston, he didn't really have a big role in the series. I mean, I know he turned up a couple of times. Uhtred almost killed him in the early series. And then he tried to kill Uhtred um, in episode... What was it? Episode 8? Something like that. But we'll see. I don't expect the next season of The Last Kingdom to come out next year. I fully believe because of what's going on with the whole virus thing. I can't see the next series being until 2022 at the earliest. Maybe this time. Kind of. April, May, 
2022 for season 5 of The Last Kingdom. It's a long way away, but there we go. So that concludes my Last Kingdom coverage on the Bunker podcast. I'm going to do some I'm going to do something else on the Bunker podcast for next time. Uh, we're currently on Saturday. I'm going to do something else early next week. And um, we'll see. We'll see what we discuss. If I get any comments about what we can discuss, TV shows, gaming. I'm currently catching up on some gaming myself. Um, playing. What am I playing? Uncharted 4. Um, what else? I'm playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey. So catching up on up some games, old games. There's not a lot else to play at the moment, so could talk about some gaming. Let me know if you have any ideas, questions. Might look into another TV series. That's it. Yeah, let's 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 get into another TV series, shall we? Uh, if you got any recommendations, let me know. Um, doesn't matter what platform. Uh, um, I have various means to watch TV shows so Netflix, Amazon Prime whatever let me know, HBO let me know, these things are uh, UK TV so let me know, we'll go through it we'll see what we're going to do but for now you've been watching The Last Kingdom Season 4 discussion And until next time, we'll see you again. Take care. Keep calm. Carry on. See you in the next one.